He never wanted to do that. <laughs> Kenny Edwards and her dog Jake like to enjoy nature. A little walk down the trail to the reservoir in her backyard. We've caught, of course, catfish. She's noticed some changes recently. It's, it's got a, a color to it, a, a definite brownish tint and uh, there is a smell to it. That's not a coincidence. The reservoir supplies 25 to 30 million gallons of water to about 180,000 people in Spartanburg County, according to utility Spartanburg Water. The hot summer helped make the reservoir a hotbed for blue-green algae. There's no health effects from it, but it certainly can cause aesthetic issues related to taste and odor. Kentuck manages the drinking water. He says the algae is not toxic, but he wants to be proactive. We certainly want to um, ensure that we have great tasting water for our for our customers and we want to protect the environment and hopefully even improve that ecosystem. In the past, Spartanburg water lowered water levels and used a chemical called current, which ended up killing thousands of fish. Now the utility is using a different chemical to kill the algae over three to four days. It will release oxygen into the water and the utility says it's learned from the past. Kitty Edwards and Jake hope that's true. They're in charge of our drinking water supply and they better know what they're doing because they can do great harm to a big number of people if uh, they don't do it properly. So they can enjoy nature and the water they drink every day. Joe Ripley, WIFF News 4, Spartanburg County.